Dear students, welcome to Divya's Max Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 2 Polynomials. Exercise 2.1 The graph of y equal to p of x is given for some polynomial p of x. Find number of zeros of p of x in each case. Question number 1. We can see that the graph is a straight line. The line is passing through the y-axis. That means it is not touching on the x-axis, right? The graph is not cut on the x-axis. That means there is no zeros. How many points the graph is cut intersect on the x-axis? That is the number of zeros. Question number 2. Here we can see that the graph is touch only one point on the x-axis. That means the number of zeros are 1. Question number 3. Here we can see that the graph intersect x-axis at a 1, 2, 3 points. So the number of zeros equal to 3. Question number 4. In this graph we can see that the graph intersect x-axis at a 2 points. So the number of zeros equal to 2. Question number 5. Here the graph intersect x-axis at a 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, number of zeros of polynomial p of x equal to 4. Question number 6. Here we can see the graph intersect x-axis at 1, 2, 3. Therefore, the number of zeros equal to 3. Answer. So, how many points the graph intersect x-axis? That is the number of zeros of the polynomial. If the graph intersect at only one point, it is called a linear polynomial. If the graph intersect at most maximum two points is called a quadratic polynomial. If the graph intersect at the three points is called a cubic polynomial. Like this we can name also. Clear.